spreading enterovirus has made its way here to New York State. We knew it was coming. A health officials confirming more than a dozen people have been tested positive for this rare respiratory virus. Some of them right now in the capital region. And as it spreads, they are urging people to be aware of the signs. News 10 ABC's Marty Casper explains what you should do to protect yourself and your family. The relatively uncommon virus is making a surge. Cases have exploded across the Midwest, and now the New York State Department of Health has confirmed that cases of the enterovirus 68 have been identified here in Albany. It has health experts scrambling to get the word out. This is obviously very contagious, spread throughout the Midwest, and I, I think we'll probably see it throughout the state and probably in many other states as well. Especially as kids are in close contact with one another at school. Have you seen kids sick at school? Yeah. The New York Department of Health says enterovirus 68 is in the capital region. Some positive cases here in the Albany area. Albany Medical Center has confirmed it's handled 10 positive cases. Young children are most at risk. That's because the virus is like other common respiratory illnesses. And for most adults, they have built up an immunity. Most people who get enteroviruses actually have no symptoms. But those that do tend to cough and have trouble breathing. So prevention is key. Prevention is the best way to address this situation. Aisha Waino is a babysitter. She's no stranger to preventative care. Make sure they wash their hands. Don't pick things up off the ground that they shouldn't be. Because the kids she babysits know how it feels to be sick. Horrible. But they're pretty smart and they know how to avoid getting sick. Make sure I have a sweater so I won't be cold. Wash my hands. Currently, there is no specific treatment for the virus. Children with asthma tend to be getting more sick from it. The best advice right now, practice good hygiene and common sense. In Albany, I'm Marty Casper for News 10 ABC.